Captain Carey's magazine. We're not waiting on no one. You done us good, Kenway. Proved yourself a true bravo. And for what? His own bloody pride. You stepped in the path of my prize. Not a thing a man should do. <laughs> a cocksure, Cully. Just like Harlequin said. That Templar scab means nothing to me. None of you do. And you're worse for it, Kenway. It were the Templars who took us in when all else went to shit. Not our king. Not our country. The Templars. The Templars is our family. Where's yours? <clears throat> Honest service. There are thin columns. No wages and hard work. Yet, as gentlemen of fortune, we enjoy plenty and satisfaction, pleasure and ease, liberty and power. So what man with a sensible mind would choose the former life when the only hazard we pirates run is a sour look from those without strength or splendor? <laughs> now, I have been among you six weeks, and in that time, I have adopted your outlook as my own. And with so fierce a conviction that it may frighten you to see your passions reflected from me in so stark a light. But if it's a captain you see in me now, I then I'll be your bloody captain. Yeah! For I have dipped my hands in muddied waters, and, withdrawing them, find it better to be a commander than a common man! You fought in the resistance. Looking for the observatory. Folks say you're the only man that can find it. Folks are correct. Despite my distaste for your eagerness, I see in you a touch of untested genius. I'm Bartholomew Roberts. Edward. I have no secrets to share with you now. But if you'll lend me your aid, in two months' time west of the Leeward Islands, well, it's there you'll get some answers, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> 